My story begins um, a very impoverished life. Um, I was raised by a single mother on welfare. Um, I was raised with four other siblings. At one point in our lives, at a young age, I remember eating out of a trash can to survive. These are facts. Um, fast forward, um, I was a young mother, got pregnant in high school. Shortly thereafter, got in involved in drugs, went to prison, um, had no guidance. My mother was a Reagan-hating um, Democrat, but that's all I knew. Fast forward out of prison, which was 20, over, well, it was 20 years ago. Um, I stepped out of prison, still kind of confused. You know, I, my friends were black, Mexican, white, Asian. So I wasn't really sure that I wanted to be a Republican because they were about the rich getting richer and they hated minorities. And then I got some education. I learned that the Republican Party wasn't necessarily the demons. Um, I learned that they, as a conservative, because I'm not completely right wing, as a conservative, I learned that my, you work hard, you want to be able to keep what you work hard for. My walkaway story began the first day I could vote, and that was after I got off paper. Um, I learned that the Democratic Party enjoys putting their thumb on people and keeping them that way. Last weekend, I was in Portland, Oregon. And I tell you this because the left calls themselves tolerant. I was at a rally um, across the street, was probably 2000 Antifa. We knew to dress to keep ourselves safe, which is really sad because it's happening in America. You know, the land of freedom. They have a right to their speech, we had a right to ours. But then something happened that day that should have never happened in America. As we walked to our cars, we were in a, uh, the seventh floor of a garage. A group of about six of us were walking. Uh, we had been in a bigger group. They were, the other group had their cars. They were kind of walking with us to keep us safe. We were women. Three women were ahead of the others. As we walked past a running vehicle, never thought anything of it. Um, all of a sudden, I was choked up. I couldn't breathe, um, and my eyes began to tear. I turned around with the breath I could take, and I yelled, cover your faces. We had been ambushed with mace. Women walking in a garage, wearing the American flags, ambushed. That's not progressive, that's regressive. So I'm walking away from that. It, this walk away movement is, it's phenomenal. It's exciting because I think it's on both sides. Now I have to be honest, I was a Trumper from the moment he even talked about being, <laughs> being, or excuse me, running for president. And I'm sorry this video is long, but I wanna put one more perspective in. My daughter is a United States Navy veteran. While serving in the Navy under Barack Obama, my daughter starved. And I'm not, I don't mean she just couldn't go to Starbucks or she couldn't go to McDonald's. She starved. Only it gets worse. My daughter was pregnant with my grandson. Under Barack Obama's reign, my Navy soldier starved. It took me writing and calling members of the government for them to finally pay her so that she could survive. I walk away from the people who, who take from our veterans, who take from the American people. I walk away. 
A special shout out to the gentleman with the seizure disorder who had a friend attack him. I too have epilepsy. Just a shout out to your brother. Don't let that stress take you over. When you do, they win. Thank you.